So Sonal has been teaching me about Vedic astrology. And one of the important things that we have to remember is apparently, which I didn't realize, that as opposed to Western cultures where we look at each day of the week starting at midnight, that's not what's true in Vedic astrology. It actually starts from sunrise. So I was lucky, I was born at half seven in the morning, which still qualifies me as a Friday's child, as we would call it in, in Western tradition. However, if I'd been born at say two o'clock in the morning, I would still be considered as coming under the Thursday planet, which is Jupiter. Jupiter. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so now we've moved on to Saturday and this is the planet Saturn. And I have to tell you, this one has completely blown me away and, and Sonal as well. So, starting very carefully, Saturn is all about our root chakra, so it's very grounding basically, and it's where, if you're into your, your Vedic um, practices and stuff, it's where the Kundalini rises, in other words, that energy that builds up through us, up through our spine. Now, it's all about, from what Sanal tells me, Saturn is all about being in service to others, our relationships, not just with others, but actually with ourselves first and foremost and therefore how we can relate back to others in our relationships. It's all about taking on our past life karmas, <coughs> excuse me, and resolving those, the good and especially the bad in this particular case. It got to the point, I was almost thinking, oh, I feel so sorry for people born on a Saturday. Um, and it's all about taking responsibility for our actions as well. So this is, if you like, the encompassing of what Saturn's all about. So, especially going on this relationships because i've picked up on this keyword and it's really really interesting because out of the oils that have been put together here by sonal four of them are tree oils and in my book the tree oils are all to do with our relationships not just with ourselves but with other people now one of the, that that beautiful seed wood himalayan is in here and that one I akin to, and it makes sense, to the Dalai Lama. So again, if you go with a personality, not so much the man, but the energy of the man, if you like, that this is all about, um, as he keeps advocating, you know, our relationships with each other worldwide, you know, so there is no them and us, you know, that we all get on well together in a peaceful way. Um, so that's the first one. Then we've got this eucalyptus, which on a relationship level is like a scorpion, if you like. It will take the heat out of a situation if you've got a worked up situation where you're at loggerheads all the time. It takes that heat out of it, but with dealing with somebody as well, they also know, don't come back with, on me because I'm going to bite again. It's, it's just the nature of the eucalyptus. It's like this scorpion. It's, it's got this extra sting in its tail. It's got back up, if you like. So it'll tell you so much, tell you to calm down. But there is more if you want to challenge it again. Then we've got um, the sandalwood. Now this is all Gandhi and again it was all to do with relationships, it's all to do with services um, as he saw it to his fellow man to improve their lot if you like um, and it represents the people which again according to Sanal does tie in um, with the whole energy thing of Saturn. Now this is where the giggle bit comes in. The other tree oil is juniper and in my book um, I've akin this oil to Eleanor Roosevelt. Now some of you might not know about Eleanor Roosevelt but she is the first, as they would call her, proper if you like, first lady. She embraced um, her whole role as Teddy Roosevelt's wife, as the wife of the president not to be the sort of, you know, the hanging on the armpit. She actually made a position for herself, if you like. She was the first of the first ladies who made that possible. And all the way through World War II, she's the one that actually orchestrated the way Teddy was presented to the public. We didn't have the TVs like we do today. You know, it was all almost like pre-recorded and all this kind of thing. And it didn't come out until after the war People didn't realise that Teddy Roosevelt, because of polio, I believe, he was actually in a wheelchair. He couldn't actually just get up and walk around like everybody else. And it was Eleanor herself. She's very much like what I would call the Duchess. She will just roll up her sleeves and say, right, we're getting on with this. This is the way it needs to be done. 
you know, we have to sort this out, you know, don't mess about, let's get on with it and let's do this. Um, and the whole irony with this, which made us giggle, because I kept saying I was stuck with this juniper oil. For me, it was the whole Saturn persona all rolled into one, regardless of the other oils that are in this blend. I kept getting drawn back to this juniper oil. And I'm saying it's just, this is it. It's the whole juniper, Eleanor Roosevelt attitude, energy behind the oil. This is the key oil for me within the uh, blend that she's put together for Saturn. So we decided to look up her date of birth. And it was the 11th. got rather excited about this whole thing about juniper for me was the whole Saturn personality. So for some unknown reason, we just decided to have a look at when Eleanor Roosevelt was born. And she was born on the 11th of October in 1884, which just happened to be a Saturday. I have to tell you, both <laughs> Sonal and I were just falling about the place laughing, getting the shivers because it was so ironic, because I just felt that the juniper is her key oil in the Saturday blend for recognizing the energies if you like involved with Saturn um, so yeah that was quite a little bit of a woohoo moment then we have the neroli now this is the actual key oil that um, Sonal says that's in the oil now neroli is what I call the bringer of light it has an incredibly high high frequency it goes way up there right up there and it brings all that wonderful energy down. And because of the other oils, and because of what's in, in the whole blend, it anchors that, that light, that energy within us right into, into our base chakra, basically. So allow that Kundalini then to actually go get fired up and to start rising up. Absolutely perfect blend. And I'm just loving the fact we found that out about the juniper.